So I'm going to show you how to design this perfect bind wedding notebook cover. And I'm going to walk you through the process from the beginning to the very end, step by step. So let's do this together. I divided this video into two parts. The first part, I'll be designing the front cover with Adobe Photoshop. And then I'm going to show you how to design the back cover with Corel Draw. And then we are going to do the perfect binding. Don't worry, I will tell you why I decided to do it this way. Just get these two softwares installed on your PC and let's jump straight into it. So here are the resources I'll be using for this tutorial. There will be a link in the description so you can download these resources and practice along with me. So moving on to Photoshop. Once you open up Photoshop, pretty much you're going to see this home page where you're going to click on create new and when you click on create new it brings up this dialog box so you click on print and when you click on print uh, you're going to see presets where you're going to use to design your work and then you understand that every jota and sometimes you can have custom sizes but a standard size for a normal jota or a normal notebook is a5 so we're going to design the front cover with a5 so i'm going to click on a5 and then you're going to go to where you have your preset details and you can set any name you want let's just say wedding okay and then once you type the name you can leave every other thing at default provided your resolution is at 300 and this is because we're going to print this jota so it's supposed to be at 300 ppi okay so let's move on Next thing you want to do is to click on create. And when you click on create, it brings up this canvas where we are going to design on. Okay. So next thing we are going to do is to open up our resources folder and click and drag this background into Photoshop. And once this background opens up, all you have to do is to click on OK, take it up and place it around here. And that's cool. Next thing we are going to do is to duplicate this background to fill the remaining part of this canvas and i'm using adobe photoshop cc 2021 to make this design so that's why it's easy for me to use these functions if you are not using photoshop cc 2021 just follow up the tutorial and you get to understand it then you apply it to every other version of photoshop you use and besides i decided to drag my layers panel to this other part so i can see all my layers easily so you can do the same you can just click and drag it to this Part. or better still you go to windows and then you go to where you have your workspace and reset essentials and then your photoshop will reset and look like mine exactly as mine and then you're going to drag your layers and take it to this other part of your photoshop and that's cool. and so you can have all your layers visible just like that and then once you're done you're going to hold alt to duplicate this layer so you click on the layer once you hold alt and click and drag a particular layer in photoshop and pretty much adobe photoshop cc 2021 gives us a function where we can easily click on a particular object and drag instead of selecting it on the layers panel so it's very cool so once this is done next thing we're going to do is to merge these two layers together so we're going to hold shift select the two layers just like that and press ctrl or command e to match the two layers and this is very cool and very nice next up i'm going to hide this particular layer then i'm going to create a gradient layer on top of the background layer so you click on the plus icon below to have this particular layer then you can click on where you have your paint bucket tool and click on the layer to give it any default color pretty much we are going to fill it with a gradient color we just want to fill the space up so we can fill our gradient color and pretty much next thing you're going to do is to click on where you have your add layer style and click on gradient overlay and when you have this gradient overlay open just like that you're going to have a default gradient so you're going to click on where you have your gradient editor and then set these colors just like this we want to have a purple feel around here so you click on where you have a purple color just like that click on ok and then click on this other side we can adjust these colors later depending on how our pictures will look like so let's just adjust that like that and then increase the scale take it up just like that very cool and nice hit on ok then we can bring back our green background i'm going to show you everything i'm doing here once that is done we're going to drag and drop our model couple we are going to use for this particular tutorial drag 
and drop so once this picture comes into photoshop you can see the picture is under the green layer and that is why we are going to click and drag it to the top as simple as that so it can appear at the top of the layer then we're going to bring it down just like that bring it down press ctrl t to transform and increase the size just like that increase it again and that's cool place it around here just like that hit on okay now the background is very very rough and we are going to do something about this so it can match with a uh, couple colors okay so we're going to click on where we have the green and then you click on where you have your adjustment layer and click on gradient map and this is what gradient map does you can tweak a color of a particular raster background and then you're going to do it the way you want pretty much let's see how it goes so click on where you have this gradient editor gradient map editor and when you click on that we're going to change these colors to match what we want okay you can see how it looks like so it divides itself into three parts and the first part is where we have the dark tones and the middle part is where we have the mid tones and where the last part is where we have the highlights so for our highlights we're going to use a color that is similar to purple but not too dark okay so we have something that looks like this it looks very cool if you have something that looks like this it's on okay and then looking at our mid tones you can see our mid tones is um, a combination of the dark tones and the highlights so i'm going to hold onto the mid tones and drag it to this other side so we can review more of the highlights and then we have something that looks like this okay so this looks very cool hit on okay once you're done with that and then you can see how the background matches with the original couple image that's cool so for this couple i already took off the background of this image and i'm going to leave a video in the description so you can learn how to take off or cut off background of any image and that would be nice the next thing i'm going to do is to bring up a particular resource i have to use for this particular design so when you open up the resource folder you're going to see this folder that has set white golden shields open up this folder this is a particular resource i got from freepeak.com and then this resource is very cool i like to use it for my wedding jotas and i've used it in different wedding designs and i like to use this shield too so i went to freepeak and i was searching for shield and you know very well freepeak uses adobe illustrator to open vector files and then since corel draw is also a vector software you can open it up with corel draw as well but for me i'll be opening it up with adobe illustrator so i can extract the particular vector i want but if you don't have adobe illustrator in your pc you can open it with corel draw it's still cool select the one you want and use it for this particular design but note that if you're using corel draw to extract this once you download this and open it up with corel draw you're going to select the particular one you want and then export it as png then you can use it on photoshop but for me i'm going to open it up with adobe illustrator so i'm going to open up the illustrator file by double clicking on it and it opens up in adobe illustrator just like this boom there you go so this is it and next thing we're going to do you're going to see this dialog box pop up like this just click on close because we don't want to look at that and then this is the particular one we'll be looking at okay this is the one we'll be using for this design so you can select that and bring it out so we can edit that ungroup that and delete these shadows we don't need that and delete this premium okay ungroup that again delete premium and that we don't need all the stuff this is just what we want so you can select that and reason why i like using adobe illustrator to extract these files is because i can simply copy and paste in photoshop but it won't permit you to do that in corel draw so for corel draw you have to export it as png then you can use it so i'm going to copy that and open up photoshop then i'm going to press ctrl v as simple as that so when i press ctrl v it brings up this pop-up i'm going to click on pixels and then click on ok and then it opens up just like that and pretty much it opened under the couple layer okay so this is the layer for the particular resource and this is the couple picture so you can just drag this up and place it somewhere around here increase it a little bit take it down a little bit as well 
And for this, we're going to bring down the couple pictures just like that. And then this gives us room to increase and open up this again. Press Ctrl T to transform and open it up again just like that. So we have something that looks like this. This looks cool and very nice. It's on OK. Then we're going to give it a little shadow to make it pop out and look a little bit more realistic. So click on where you have add layer style click on drop shadow and it opens up just like that so you're going to adjust your shadow by clicking on the shadow and drag it to any direction you want just like this i like this direction then increase the size a little bit and reduce the distance and then reduce the opacity a little just like that so you can leave your opacity at 51 then your distance 40 your spread 29 and your size 51 and that's cool hit on okay once you're done with that then we're going to activate our text tool click on where you have your text tool so you can simply click on anywhere around this layer and it creates a new layer for itself then you're going to type this and once you're done typing that press ctrl a to highlight all the text and give it a white color just like that and then you're going to press ctrl t to transform and open that up just like that place this around here okay at the center of the design and it's on okay and then we're going to change this typeface to trajan okay so change it to trajan and then once the typeface pops up you're going to select trajan pro bold okay this is trajan pro bold hit on that and you can see how it applies so this is very cool and very nice highlight union and let's change the color of union click on where you have your color and then you click on the gold part here that it's a little bit lighter select that because we want to take and uh, want to pick that particular color hit on ok once you're done with that and then let's reduce blissful union a little because it's looking too large ctrl t to transform hold alt and reduce it a little just like that okay so when you hold alt you're able to reduce it to the center and then place this around here just like that you can see how it looks very cool and nice so this proves how simple it is to design with photoshop yeah don't fear photoshop it's very easy so aside from the fact that i did not color grade my image and this is because my image matches my background already so there is no need for all those color grading and all those picture adjustments stuff for you if your picture does not match this you're going to look for a gradient map color that matches your own picture and then you're going to make your color grading color balance and all those stuff to match your particular background match the whole design feel for this my picture is very very perfect with this so we are good to go so at the end of this design maybe i'm going to change the background and then color grade the image to match the new background which i'm going to use so you can know how to adjust the color balance and color grade your image to match any other background you like to use so moving on to the next one we are going to type in the names of this couple click on your text tool once again and click around here and let's type this once you type that press ctrl a and highlight then change it to back to black that's the font we are going to use and once it opens up click on back to black and then press ctrl t to transform and open it up like this make sure you leave it at black color because we are perfect with that so adjust it and set it at the center just like that you can see how it balance around here just like that it's very cool hit on ok once you're done with that then hold alt and duplicate this into two so once you hold alt it duplicates like that but if you don't want to duplicate that way you can simply click on the rosemary layer the layer that contains the name and press ctrl j and it duplicates just like that then you can simply click and drag it to this other side then we're going to highlight this again and type the name of the guy so the name is david just like that so okay i'm wrong here sorry about that then i'm going to take this up a little just like that place it around here and there should be an around there okay hold alt and duplicate david and then highlight that again and change this to an just like that and for this we're going to change the an to another color that match this so click on your color and then choose this gold color around here so it matches with what we have already on the background hit on ok and that's cool so we have the gold color for an reduce the an a little and bring it around here this looks very cool and nice it's on ok so we have 
Rosemary and David just like that. A reason why we did this because the guy is taller than the lady. So it's okay if we should adjust the David to this other side. So it has a very perfect balance around there. Once that is done, you can simply type in the date of this wedding around here. Then we're going to set the typeface of this date to poppins. Select poppins medium and then we're good to go just highlight that and you can change this to a purple color around here just like that can make the dates to be a little bit uh magenta a little bit purple just like that so let me show you the color code so you can use the same okay so the color code is b90085 that's cool hit on okay and then click and drag the date to this position click and drag the date to this position and that's very cool and very nice so we can proceed so once this is done we're going to add some flashy lens flares around this to make this design pop and here it is go to the top layer where you have the last layer at the top and then click on that then click on your plus icon to add a new layer and then we're going to change this layer change the blending mode to linear dodge select your brush tool and with your brush size okay make sure your brush is soft okay the hardness should be zero and then you can leave your brush size anyway it is and that's cool then we're going to change our color to a dark yellow just like that a little bit brownish like that remember the darker the yellow the better then click on anywhere around that you can see how it pops on the guy's face and it's very very bad so we're not going to add that there reduce the brush size using your left square bracket okay so your left square bracket will reduce the brush size your right square bracket will increase the brush size just like that and then let's flash it around here you can see how cool it is then let's take it to this other side and see how it looks like oh cool very cool and nice then i'm going to take it to this other side as well and let's see how it looks like okay so that's cool you just just ensure that you don't do this too much so you won't overdo everything here it won't look nice if it's overdone just like that so just click around there and this is what we get it's okay we don't have to do much of that so it won't look overdone so this is cool and we can save this and then move on to the back design pretty much this is a nigerian style of designing a wedding notebook cover so let's assume you want to change the color of this background to green maybe the couple you want to use likes green background that's what you want to do all you have to do is to go to where you have your gradient map that is where we are going to change the gradient map the color of this background and then double click on your gradient map editor and then change the dark tones to green choose green and use a darker green just like that hit on okay and then change the highlight to a lighter green just like this okay you can use something like this so it won't look too greenish this looks very perfect and nice hit on okay and hit on okay again and as you can see the colors of the couple do not match the green image anymore that's because even their clothes does not match so when you want to choose colors for your design make sure you choose colors that match the current image you want to use for the design and that will be cool and then you're going to make sure that the layer is rasterized so rasterize the layer just like that and press ctrl b and when you press ctrl b it's going to bring up this dialog so let's make some adjustments increase the green a little just like that and let's increase this red okay so we have more of red and then give it more of yellow so you can see this matches this background very well their face match this background very well so it's just a matter of using color balance and few other stuff around photoshop and you can get this done and once you do that make sure you change every other color around your design to make sure everything is still working perfectly like that i can change this particular one to red okay so i can change this to red just like that and hit on okay so this is what we get this is where we are and then we can highlight this and give it a little bit more better yellow so it pops out very well on that particular background so you can see how it looks like it's cool but let's just take this away and go to the next part 
of the design where we are going to use Corel Draw to do the back cover and then we are going to bring up the spine that forms the perfect bind. So let's save this design as JPEG. You can save a copy and then you're going to click on where you have your savers type and set it to JPEG and then hit on save and hit on OK. Make sure you save it with the largest quality and hit on OK and that's cool. So we can then close Photoshop because we are done with that and let's open up Corel Draw where we're going to finish up this. And once you open up Corel Draw, click on File, as simple as that, click on New and it brings up this dialog box. Look, I'm not going to set anything here, I'm just going to click on OK. Let's go straight to Corel Draw. So once Corel Draw opens up, it's not with the regular canvas we want to use. So we are going to make some adjustments. Recall that we did the front cover with A5. So adding it with the back cover and laying it together, we are going to do this with A4. So we have two A5. So two A5 gives us one A4. Okay. So let's do this. Click on where you have your page size and when you click on that we're going to set this to a4 okay so let's search for a4 yeah and this is a4 then we're going to set it to landscape mode click on where you have landscape change the orientation to landscape and when you click on that let's drag and drop our exported front cover so i'll simply drag and drop this inside corel draw that's cool this is okay so next thing we want to do is to set up the page and this is what we are going to do click on where you have your rectangle to create a custom rectangle shape just like that and then click on your empty page just like that double click on where you have your dimensions so we are going to take the face dimension which is the width copy that click on your rectangle to select the width again of the rectangle press ctrl v to paste the size of the original page hit on enter copy that of the height and copy that Click on the rectangle to select the height of the rectangle and press Ctrl V and hit on enter. And that's cool. With that, we are able to get the exact A4 shape on this rectangle shape. Okay, so hit on P. When you click on P, it places on the page of the canvas. Once that is done, we want to separate this rectangle into two so we can have A5, double A5. So click on one of these and drag to the midpoint of this shape, which is A4. When you are at the center, right click before you leave to duplicate. Let me do that again. Click on that, take it to the center and right click before you leave. So we have A5 here and this one is still A4. This other one is A5. So click on this other one that is A4 and hold this and bring it to this other side. And once you do that, we have two A5 just like that. It's very cool. Then on this other one, we are going to take this off because we have our A5 already. Click on our A5 cover. Hold shift, click on the shape, press T. And when you press T, it aligns to the top. Okay, then you press L, it aligns to the left. As simple as that. So when you do that, you can simply delete the shape we have behind that. So we won't have this black hairline around it. So we can just delete the shape and you can see it doesn't have hairline anymore. We have just the cover here and the shape which we are going to use for the back cover let's bring in the pictures we want to use for the back cover so moving on to the folder where we have our resources i'm going to highlight all these pictures and bring it to corel draw just like that and place it around here once the pictures open up we are going to select the ones we want to use just like that we can place them anyway that's one thing i love about corel draw you can just scatter things anyhow same with illustrator so click on this and right click and drag to where you have your shape by now you should master how to power clip images in Corel Draw and leave. Then you click on power clip inside, as simple as that. So once you power clip that, hold Alt, select the image inside the power clip, hold Shift and reduce the size just like that. Place it around here where it centers around the design very well, just like that. And that's cool. Uh, once you have this done, we are good to go. So you click on the shape and then we want to take off this black hairline because I don't love black hairlines around my design right click on where we have this empty space and click on set outline color to take off that black hairline so we have just the front and back and pretty much that's cool so we are going to do a little creative stuff here make sure you pay attention to this click on where you have your ellipse to hold control and create this shape just like that and my shape is not showing that because i took off the outline originally so right click on 
black and set outline color to bring up this shape just like that and then place the shape around here hold shift and reduce a circle a little just like that hold shift select the page the back page press c to centralize that so when you centralize that we can take it up a little hold shift again select that and press c to centralize then we are going to give this another color okay so to give it another color let's click on where we have our eye drop to because i like to pick a color from this gold pick this dark color here this brown color click on that and then click on the circle so we have something that looks like this then we are going to take off this black outline here so right click on where we have this empty space and click on set outline color to take that out the next thing we are going to do is to have another copy of this circle so make a copy of this circle press ctrl c to copy and ctrl v again to paste that in place hold shift and reduce this circle this time around so we have another circle there which we are going to give it a purple color click on the eye drop tool again and go to where we have this purple color just around here this purple click on that and then click on the circle so we have this it's cool we are going to make another copy of this purple circle Press Ctrl C to copy that and press Ctrl V to paste again. This time around, we are going to give it a white color just like that. Hold Shift and reduce it this way. So this is what we get, as simple as that. So next thing we want to do is to click on this rectangle tool and create a vertical line just like this, okay? That's cool. So we have this vertical line with another color. Pretty much we don't mind the color that we use here. It's okay if you use any other color because you are going to take that out. Don't make it to look too large, just a little bit slim, just like that. It's okay. It's okay like this. So you can use any random color for that. And then hold shift, select the circle, press C and e and when you do that it's going to align to the center of the circle and to the middle of the circle and that's just that then we're going to make a copy of this vertical line copy that and then press ctrl v to paste click on the vertical line again and rotate this way hold ctrl to track your rotation so you have this horizontal line just like that and pretty much that's cool next thing you want to do is to select these two lines select them holding shift select both of them together and weld and when you weld that you're going to hold shift click on your white circle and then click on where you have your trim and when you trim that this is what we get click on the line and delete and this is what we get so we have this shape just like this where we are going to ungroup this shape so when we have this shape like this Note that we can't ungroup this shape the way it is unless we break shapes apart. And to break shapes apart, you can right click on the shape and click on break curve apart. Or you can simply press Ctrl K to break apart. And that's just it. So Ctrl K helps you to break objects apart in Corel Draw. And once you do that, this is what we get. We have them separately just like this. And we are going to place different pictures inside here so let me just quickly bring in these pictures and adjust them inside here without wasting much time i'm going to be very fast because i believe you understand this already So after power clipping all these images, this is what we get. Make a copy of any of this circle, click on any of them and press Ctrl C to copy that and then press Ctrl V to paste. Then hold shift and select adjust this circle just like this and adjust again. So we get something that looks like this and we can simply type RD which is Rosemary and David. So we can just type RD 2023. Let's do that. So pretty much this is very, very cool and nice. You can do something like this. If you have this, then you are good to go. And moving on to the last stage of this video is where we are going to form the spine that forms the perfect binded notebook. Let me show you an example of a perfect binding. So this is an example of a perfect 
binded notebook okay so this is the front and this is the back and this is the spine okay and the size of this spine is determined by the volume of the book okay so just in case your client says he or she needs a perfect binded jotter this is exactly what you're going to do so that's what we are going to do here as well so let's assume we're going to have 50 sheets of paper inside this notebook from my experience 50 sheets of paper is equivalent to 0.5 centimeters so i'm going to use 0.5 centimeters for this click on the front cover hold shift and when you hold shift you're going to remain on a straight line like this so take it to this other side just for the main time then click on where you have your rectangle to and create a custom shape just like this and when you create this custom shape leave it with any color it's okay we are going to adjust that then we're going to change our unit to centimeters click on this and make sure your your width is 0.5 you can also make it 0.6 as well it's okay hit on okay and then we're going to take the height of our a4 which is 21 centimeters so click on this and set it to 21 centimeters hit on okay and once that is done hit on p and when you click on p it comes to the center of the page then you can now bring the front cover hold shift and bring the front cover and join it around here just like that and make sure this other side is also joined as well perfectly so this is what we get okay now observe that the size of our canvas is not now you know the size of this image is now larger than a4 the size is no more equivalent to a4 so we're going to group the whole image and copy the new size click on our page and then copy and paste it to the a4 it's no more a4 it's now a custom shape and that's exactly what you're going to do so it matches that ungroup everything and let's give it a color just like this click on where you have the spine and then let's pick this gold color this particular color we are using here right click and drag to where you have the spine and leave then you're going to have these options click on copy fill here and when you copy fill to this part of the design then we're going to cop make a copy of this copy that and paste again when you paste hold here and drag it down just like that and then we can change the color to purple this is what we get you can use purple or any other color that match what you want for me i'm going to use white so i'm going to leave it there at white so the spine can stand out so are you thinking of what we are going to type on the spine we're going to type the names of the couple let me do that very fast so pretty much when you type the names of the couple you can click on that rotate hold control and rotate it this other way just make sure it's 90 degrees rotation and take it to where we have the brown shape okay reduce that you can use your shape tool to adjust your uh, tracking just like that and then place it at the center just like that reduce the size a little place it around here that's cool that's very very cool okay that's okay then we're going to make a duplicate of this so hold shift and bring it down right click before you leave to duplicate you can give this one a red color then here we're going to type the dates of this wedding so once you finish typing the date you can just take it up to this other side and that's cool that's very cool adjust it perfectly so this is what we get and pretty much this is cool you can export this design and it's ready for printing so this is how to design a perfect binding notebook for a wedding just like that feel free to ask your questions in the comments and i'll answer you thank you so much for watching and if you like to learn more about designs just like this click on this particular Corel draw tutorial it's an old tutorial just click on that and learn more about how to design with Corel draw and then i still have photoshop tutorials on the channel check it out in the playlist below thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one peace